Hello. So I read on social media recently a post by someone on why we need to ban externalities. Uh, then they proceeded to list a bunch of things which were not externalities. It's a very used word. It's thrown around a lot. What are externalities? What are some examples? What causes them? And what are some simple ways that we could fix them? Remember, video notes are in the description. Now, uh, before we get into our example, there's something we need to pay attention to. Trade. So, I have a phone and you have a lobster. We trade when these two conditions are met. I value the lobster more than I value phone. You value the phone more than you value lobster. These are very simple conditions to have a trade. Trade is beneficial because the value I get from the lobster is more than what I'm giving up the value of the phone, and the value you get out of the phone is more than what you're giving up the lobster. But we need to consider another thing, which is what about other costs and benefits that are not between the buyer and the seller? Because of this fact that transactions between a buyer and a seller often have effects on other people, it may be very hard to have trades such that nobody is harmed by a trade, or the optimal amount, if there's a net benefit in that case. So the question is, well, what can we do about this? And this is where externalities come in and the economic study of them. So right here, we are in Desmos for our example. There exists this very cheap source of fuel that gives people lots of benefit, but it produces nasty side effects for everyone. We usually think about trade as being beneficial if the benefits of one party are greater than the costs of the other party. There exists a problem, though that people are often forced to deal with the consequences of these trades, who are not the buyer and the seller. So right here we have our demand curve and our supply curve. And we also have this thing that's the external cost curve. This is for every unit we produce, there's external costs that are not faced by the buyer and the seller. So this blue curve right here is not only the cost to produce it, but also the external cost that society has to pay. And notice we have our tax slider over here, which allows us to apply a tax. Adjusting it will adjust the price people pay for something. Now, as we said earlier, there are very few trades where nobody is negatively affected by the outcome of the trade. This is a very unreasonable standard. However, if we notice along this point on the curve, even including the external costs, we still have a net benefit. That is that the benefit to these consumers is enough to compensate the producer and the negative effects faced on people. So from a society standpoint, these trades are still overall beneficial. So really, we don't want to necessarily get rid of all trades that have negative side effects on people. We just want to remove the trade where the negative side effects are cause a net loss in benefit. So what we can do is we can apply a tax so right here, this is our tax revenue that we are collecting. Now it is orange when it is below the socially optimal price, and it is orange when it is above it. So we can use this to set the tax right here. And so what we've done right here is we've eliminated all of the trades where we had these terrible external costs being put on, pushed on people, but we still have preserved the trades where there's the net benefit. This is called a Pagovian tax. And this is one way you can handle externalities of pollution. Now we're going to move on to our second scenario and externalities. And to do this, we're going to pull the allegorical transformation slider. Drugs are a serious social problem. Drug addicts commit crimes and are a drain on social services. There's clearly a demand for some oversight and restriction on drugs. How do people fulfill their demand for anti-drug laws? Well, we have entrepreneurs who are called politicians. They spring up who are influenced to pass anti-drug laws by the number of votes they receive. Now, voting or supporting a politician is very cheap. You just have to go out to the polls and vote. Politicians even make this super easy by informing voters with advertisements, having debates, and offering free rides to the polling station. 
very often they do that. Now, the cost to vote for each voter is very little. You just have to go to the polling station. If, in fact, the policy was implemented to ban drugs or have harsher punishment for drugs, the voters aren't paying that through the act of voting. But whether or not we have the law is a function, the number of support that it receives through voting. So to solve this problem, we have created a tax called a poll tax. So that people need to pay the cost of implementing with the politicians' support. And this will stop people from voting and generating negative externalities. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you in the next video.